does try to climb out at times to avoid face and ears. Massaging it into his skin um, so that I'm as dry as I can while I still have him here. Hey, you okay, baby? This is when he really wants to get out. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a how-to video, and this is going to be the first of the how-to series. But this is basically gonna be how to baby your French Bulldog. Now this can go for any puppy, and I always make that disclaimer at the beginning of my videos, because it theoretically can be for any puppy, but this will be labeled how to bathe a French Bulldog puppy. So there are a couple things you're gonna need. We actually choose to bathe our French Bulldog in our kitchen sink just because he's still a puppy and we have a very large kitchen sink. So that's where we decide to do it. And we get warm enough water uh, in the faucet so we can do so. So I do use this. I actually got it from TJ Maxx for $3.99. So it's very inexpensive. It's the two-in-one shampoo and conditioner from Smiley Pooch. It's, it's a natural plant extract. It's made with amino acids and coconut oil. Uh, it's, you know, pretty low ingredients. It's not, you know, super harmful or anything. Uh, so, you know, I just choose to use this. I'm sure that there's better ones out there. And if you have any that you recommend, comment down below. This is just the one that I've chosen to use. So yeah, and then I also am going to do an ear cleaning during his bath, just so he can shake. And I do use the Earwell uh, Odic Cleaning Solution with Aloe. This has been my favorite ear product that I've tried so far. I just squirt it into his ears, massage his ears, and then he kind of shakes it out. And you'll see that in the video. And then I do prepare just a towel so when he's done, I can dry him off so he's not too cold. So without further ado, let's get into it. So I do want to point out that I did clean the sink prior to making this video. And I also do have training treats that I can give him. So I do want to start with lukewarm water. You do not want anything too hot or else it will be very uncomfortable for them. So he doesn't hate the water, um, but he you know, doesn't love it either. So one thing you want to avoid is anywhere on the face or in the ears. So we're going to get him nice and wet before applying the shampoo and conditioner. He does try to climb out at times. Um, and I'll just gently have to push him back. Again, doing anything to avoid face and ears just because it could cause infection. You just don't wanna make them uncomfortable by doing that. So once I've wet all aspects of his body other than his face, I'll go ahead and I do like to do the back of the neck. So just because that's sometimes where they tend to get smelly but I'll then give him a treat and grab the conditioner. So I do like to apply a generous amount, about two quarter size. So I'm just massaging it into his skin um, so that it can actually clean his skin and doesn't just clean the fur. This is going to keep him from getting itchy and everything like that. You wanna make sure you get the chest the paws, everything, his belly, the back of his legs. And again, the water is lukewarm. It's not, you know, overly hot because it will make them very uncomfortable, especially Frenchies. See, Monty's pretty good during his bath. He doesn't love it, but he doesn't fight me, which is really, really nice. When rinsing, it is very important you get every single aspect or else if you leave any soapy parts, it'll get itchy for them. So make sure you get the belly and everywhere that you've applied soap. I'm now going to quickly do his ear cleaning. So to do this, I just put a little bit of product in his ear and massage it. He does not like this. Um, but Frenchies, you do have to be very diligent in cleaning their ears or else it could cause infection. So I'll just rub those. Sorry, buddy, you're doing so good. You're doing so good and then grab a nice clean towel. And I like to dry him in the sink 
because once he's out, he just wants to run around. So I do like to get him as dry as I can while I still have him here. Come here, it's okay. You know, you're okay, baby. This is, at this point, he really wants to get out. I hope that provided some insight on how to wash your Frenchie and give him or her a bath. Um, if you have any questions, please comment down below and I look forward to continuing this how-to series. Thanks for watching guys, bye.